For USCFootball.com, I'm Keely Orr here with Dan Weber. It's analysis of the Wednesday practice leading up to the Oregon State game on Saturday. Obviously, the biggest news to come out of practice today, Vianney Talmayval, offensive lineman who's played for four years for USC, is out for the season, which ultimately means his career at USC is over with a pectoral injury. Right. Um, you know, I, we didn't know if they were going to recommend possibly you could rehab and see if you could get back by the end of the season or do you really need to do surgery that was going to be yeah. the the MRI and the consult uh, consultation with the doctors uh, some of that might be if you get it repaired now you're in better shape in terms of uh, uh, the NFL and the combine and all that kind of stuff after the season so uh, probably makes a lot of sense uh, and, it, and they probably can t say for sure uh, if you'd have tried to rehab it, it just wasn't going to, you weren't going to be able to rehab it anyway. So you'd have just lost, uh, say, three months and getting getting back. So, uh, yeah, really a shame. He's a great kid, uh, as they call him, The Rock. And um, was a, a great Trojan and just terrific, uh, you know, you just love to be around him. A smart, uh, funny guy. And uh, it's too bad, that, you know, to have your, not only, you know, the season, but your career end just like that. Boy, it's just boom, it's gone. Mm -hmm. He was one of the three offensive linemen to come in as a freshman and start Damien Mama, Vianney Talmival, obviously, and Tol Lobedon. He was the most under the radar, but he was also one of the most reliable for USC. Yeah, I mean, he was just, he's always there. I mean, it, it, you didn't ever think about having to replace him. He's had some things, you know, with that, uh, the triceps muscle that, uh, you know, knocked him out of spring and, uh, and uh, kind of got him a little bit of a late start uh, in the fall. And uh, he just has had one, one thing after another uh, in the last, uh, you know, eight or nine months. And uh, it's, you know, and what, what will this do, you know, for his, uh, you know, post-college career and all that? I don't know. But uh, all you can do is really wish him well. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm glad that it's decided. And it's not, you know, going to be, well, maybe he'll be able to rehab. Maybe he, you know, this way it'll, he'll get started. To, but, man, he's had two big muscle surgeries within you know yeah. five or six months and that's uh, that's tough it is. as far as other injury reports go it was pretty much same old same old nothing really changed um helton updated that chuma doga obviously did not practice uh both tuesday and wednesday this week but they will see how he's doing tomorrow thursday um but obviously kind of doubtful heading into saturday yeah i think he's pretty doubtful and, and you know he, he's not as Doubtful with Stephen Carr yeah. and, you know, guys like that. Uh, it doesn't look like Marlon Tui Pelotu with his back uh, has, has not been out here. Uh, so you wouldn't, you know, think yeah, think of him. I don't think we saw Daniel Amater Baby today. Um, and um, uh, obviously Porter Gustin hasn't been hasn't been back. So, uh, so that's kind of the, the nucleus of, of guys we're not seeing. Uh, it's probably a good week. If you're going to give uh, Andrew Voorhees, and uh, Clayton Johnston and Austin Jackson a chance. This is a, the perfect time, I think, to do it. Two home games, uh, Oregon State, then Utah. This is, you need to get them in there. You need to get them playing time. And the games were, you know, close enough that you didn't always feel like you had enough, uh, you know, ability to get them in. Now you've got no choice. So uh, I think you make a, turn this into a good thing instead of a negative. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. Yesterday, USC's offensive coaches said that yesterday was one of the better practices they've had in a while. I would argue that today was one of the better practices that they've had in a while. The offense was very fired up. Uh, they were into it. They d you couldn't tell that they had a loss just a couple we uh, days ago. And the, the offense practiced hard today. Very hard. Uh, yeah, I think they really uh, – and, uh, and and Clay has said this two, two straight days. I wish we played today. You know, I mean, they're ready. Uh, so I think – I was talking to people that were on the bus, you know, with the, with them after the the game, heading to the you know the 45 minutes to Lewiston, Idaho for the you know the charter, and they said literally not a sound. I mean, they they, they took it hard, and they're going to try to, you know, if this week is any indication, they're going to try to, you know, make the best of it. And so, uh, you know, last year's team, you know, certainly accomplished that and figured out how to do it. And uh, now we'll get to see, you know, it's. It's something you do, you compare this year's team to last year's team, and uh, can they accomplish the turnaround? And they've got a couple of weeks to, to do it, and then, then you go to Notre Dame. But uh, got to take care of this week. And the focus is on them. I mean, this yeah. is the week where you just focus on yourself. And uh, I think this is, you know, this is the, the way you do it. And uh, I don't know that uh, on offense you're getting forced to be able to, although you wish – 
Stephen Carr would, would get the benefit of these next couple of games. He's probably not. It looks like they're uh, aiming to get him back for Notre Dame. Would have been ideal to, to get him back these, uh, these couple of games. Uh, but on defense, they're basically Josh Patu came back uh, and uh, uh, Rasheem Green came back, and they basically are lining up that same defense. So uh, it's not showing on defense at all in terms of those, all those injuries. You and I got to talk a little special teams today. You got to talk to John Baxter. I talked to Ajene Harris. I talked to him about punt return. When, does he, when is he able to return it or f- fair catch? He said sometimes it's him, sometimes it's John Baxter calling it. Ultimately, it's the scheme that allows him to do what, what he needs to do. What did John Baxter have to say? Well, he, he talked about, you know, I mean, the classic, uh, well, if you bring them up close to 30 to 40 yards and you guess, uh, you know, they're going to kick it over your head. And you line them up deep and they try to kick it away from you and, uh, and maybe you don't, you hope they can catch it or not. Uh, but we did talk about the fact that one really, uh, one thing that's really happened in their favor is against Texas twice it happened and, and against Washington State it happened a couple of times and Washington State used three different punters. And they had one 17-yard punt because they're trying. I think they're trying to see where a Jenny lines up, lines up, and then they try to decide if they're going to rugby style it or try to bounce it away from him. Well, if you don't do that all the time, that's not easy to do. So you got a new, or you got a, uh, you're switching out punters, and now you got to making a decision where the, the the safety's lining up, and you're 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 trying to get the guy to kick it on the run. And so they've been fortunate. I don't know if that's exactly their strategy or not, but they've been you know, kind of fortunate in that uh, in the last three weeks, they've gotten four punts that uh, have kind of gone off to the side. We also got to talk to the defense today. Uh, Cam Smith and Eugene Nuoso were popular guys, big scrums today. Do they have anything noteworthy to say? Well, I hadn't known, known this. Chenna played four years of high school basketball. I said, you know, and he, said he played four different positions, the two guard through the five. So, and he was smaller in high school than he is now. Because I said, you kind of look like a power forward, but he's got that quick, quick jump. I mean, they talk about they work at it, uh, that they read the quarterback's hands and all that. But uh, Chenna is just an exceptional athlete. He's an exceptional, he's got that basketball ability. And uh, he gets there, you just don't see a defensive uh, lineman. And in, 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 in a lot of ways, he's a defensive end that can get off the ground that quickly. I mean, and he just surprises quarterbacks who have, have have not seen him do that but uh but yeah he br- he's bringing i know they work hard at it he works really hard at it he takes a lot of pride in it i think last year he had five of those in the whole season he's already got nine this year so he's he's on a roll i mean if i'm a, i would think it's going to get a little harder because if you're an opposing team you're showing them that chin of film over and over you're showing that quarterback this guy's here He's gonna take, you know, gonna take the ball away from you. So, but uh, what a great, just great effort he's had this year. Lastly, put you on the spot every Wednesday. What do you think is gonna happen on Saturday? I think they'll, I think they'll run the ball better again. I think they'll, I mean, I think they've got to, they've got to run the ball to set everything up. And I think that, you know, I think they've got to focus on running the ball. Uh, they've got to block a little bit better. Um, they've, they've got to just execute better. I think, you know, if they run the ball well, I've said this all year long, if they run the ball well, they will pass it well also. And if they don't run the ball well, you know, it puts a lot of pressure on the on the passing game. So I think they have to be able to run the ball. And uh, that's what you want to see if you're a USC fan. You want, want to see them come out and run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, and pass it whenever whenever you want to, but, uh, but set up the run, make them, uh, make them defend the run, make them, you know, re- respond to the run. And, uh, I think they'll be fine, but they got to run the ball and that, that hasn't been something they've hap- that's happened since really since the Stanford game. All right. That's going to wrap it up for Wednesday practice here on Howard Jones field for Dan Weber. I'm Keely Orr. For more, check out uscfootball.com.